What is inspiration? Inspiration is known only to humans and is for this reason a privilege. A strong wind of change is blowing from Kobe University. The wind of knowledge. To be inspired by your studies is to be inspired by human wisdom and learning. Kobe University prides itself on the extent to which it endows society with the fruits of its research and scholarship. Globalization marches inexorably onwards. Kobe has long been a center of academic exchange with the world, exchange which continues to flourish. This international tradition is part of the fabric of Kobe University, where more than 1,000 foreign students currently study. Having successfully incorporated a number of higher education institutions, Kobe University is known as a world-class academic institution. Kobe University is comprised of the main campus in Rokodai and campuses in Fukai, Kusunoki, and Myodani, four independent campuses. These campuses strengthen the brand that is Kobe University through both their tradition and innovation. This, combined with the sea and mountains, makes Kobe City's stunning natural environment the perfect location for a university. Kobe University is pursuing unlimited possibilities. One dimension of this is research networks, which are leading to innovations in society. Experts from various fields collaborate, striving to push back the frontiers of technology. The Organization of Advanced Science and Technology is one such example. Biorefineries produce a greener energy, one that doesn't necessitate burning fossil fuels. Instead, they use biomass, such as agricultural waste, which has accumulated the sun's energy. Agriculture deals with plants. Using those plants to make various plastics is engineering. So we combine agriculture and engineering. In order to understand the essence of life, we need theory from all the sciences, including agriculture, science, and engineering. Each is a key component. Compared to the past, the lines dividing different disciplines are far more blurred. This is a great thing. As a result, close cooperation is leading to new ideas and new results. Now is an exciting time to enter Kobe University and realize your true potential. The Research Institute for Economics and Business Administration plays a leading role in the field of social science. Innovators. Our mission is to nurture the kind of people who can make innovation happen. Innovation means considering questions such as how should we sell it and what services should we include with it. This is what adds value to things. Take Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple. Initially, he was not a technical person. If you had to name his specialty, he was a font specialist. So, using his skill with fonts as his base, he was able to create incredible things and concepts. Now that is innovation. Achieving this is not simply about being an artist or a scientist. Rather, it's also about the ability to think in a socially minded way. 
We want to work and do research with students who possess this quality. At the Research Institute for Economics and Business Administration, we focus on reputable and profitable foreign companies conducting research in the field to produce video teaching materials. This enables us to improve the quality of our collaborative research with industry. Our aim is to increase the competitiveness of Japanese businesses. Innovation, a wind of inspiration from Kobe University. Kobe University, constrained only by the boundaries of intellectual curiosity. Feel the wind of inspiration. It will move you. This is inspiration. In classrooms, we focus on documents and literature from ancient history. And once we have studied them extensively, we then concentrate on fieldwork, going out to where history actually happened. Both methods combine to form a complete approach. Learn in the field! In my classes, I try to offer students the chance to touch history, visiting places like museums, archive centers, and historical sites. The sense of reality gained from actually going to see history is very different from simply studying about it in books. Kobe University's proximity to important historical sites is incredibly beneficial here. Many overseas students study with us. Students come from overseas for a number of reasons, such as an interest in Japanese animation. But once they are here, I want them to develop a deeper understanding of Japanese culture. One strength of the Faculty of Letters is its small class sizes. Students and faculty work closely together and are able to conduct in-depth research. You may think such a situation is rare, but Kobe University is a place where this environment actually exists. For them, this is a fantastic opportunity to soak up real culture. Not looking at things through a filter, but rather with their own eyes is important. This is the first step in cultural exchange. Here you learn about wisdom. Learn from the past as a foundation for the future. By facilitating international communication, we are striving to build a better society. What is the Faculty of Intercultural Studies? Why are there so many foreign students? What do you learn through cultural exchange? Please tell us, Professor Iwamoto. Our school policy is to encourage students to broaden their horizons and so be able to appreciate different points of view. Foreign languages and information science are the basic tools we use to assist in understanding various cultures. We want students to actually venture out to both see and experience the world. This is a place where you can meet many foreign students and gain a global perspective in an international atmosphere. In addition, we have a good support system for those wishing to study abroad. And we encourage our students to make the most of this wonderful opportunity. Thank you, Professor Iwamoto. 
Furthermore, we even consider communication not just in Earth, but also in space. To broaden our perspective into outer space, we invited Dr. Chiaki Mukai, the first Japanese female astronaut, from JAXA, the Japanese Space Agency, as a guest lecturer. So, the Faculty of Intercultural Studies is an exciting place to be. Human beings continually develop from cradle to grave. Human capabilities develop both at the individual and societal levels. Capabilities are defined by society, and as society changes, so do the abilities that are required. How do capabilities develop? We consider how to realize the potential abilities of each person. We also consider what capabilities are needed, in what social context. This is the Faculty of Human Development. In the dance seminar, we create and research contemporary dance, founded on the concepts of bodies for expression and a spirit of empathy. After the Great East Japan earthquake, we immediately went to the stricken area and held town rebuilding workshops. Broadening your perspective helps you appreciate the progression of globalization including the increasing interactions, transcending borders and race. In the International Development Seminar, we consider these issues by focusing on problems such as poverty in developing countries. Seeing is believing. It's very important to go out into the field. When students go out into the field, they come alive. They understand the reality of what they have studied, or sometimes how it differs. Such field work really motivates students to think deeply about these issues and consider potential solutions. They don't need to come up with the answers right away. I want students to learn methodology to help them in their quest for solutions. Knowledge often becomes obsolete. New circumstances can require new knowledge. What's important is the acquisition and application of a suitable methodology in a student's search for answers. Law students these days view their career possibilities differently compared to the past. Society is changing day by day. The current debates over energy and the environment and strained international relations. Consider justice from a wider perspective. Kobe University has a law school at the graduate level, as well as a faculty of law at the undergraduate level. Kobe Law School students have an enviable bar exam pass rate. For students wishing to become lawyers, studying at Kobe University's faculty of law before proceeding to our law school is the recommended path. Producing lawyers is not the only educational goal for the Faculty of Law, however. Small class sizes help students gain expertise in many fields of law, preparing them for a multitude of possible careers. Our curriculum also enables students to move from the fundamentals of civil law to more advanced levels in a number of fields in a step-by-step -step manner. Kobe is the only national university with a full-time professor in environmental law. In Professor Shimamura's lectures, various legal topics, including soil pollution and landscape issues, are discussed. Domestic and international issues are covered from both the legal and political scientific points of view. We offer superb educational opportunities to all students of law who are able to customize their learning experience by selecting from a wide variety of topics. The economy is society's barometer. The Faculty of Economics symbolizes Kobe University's history, tradition, and pride. In this class, 
population policy and economics are being discussed. A university is not just about understanding and remembering what you are told. It is just as important to think for yourself and be creative. It is also essential that you express your opinion, particularly in lectures. The economics department has a team of over 50 professors and lecturers. This helps to ensure that we are able to offer courses in all conceivable aspects of economics. Furthermore, with the international city of Kobe as our home, we are heavily involved in student exchange programs with many countries. We also play a key role in the promotion of EU studies and research. In this way, we strive to improve, moving from theory to economic policy based on an appreciation of society as it actually is. I believe that GDP is one of the indicators of happiness. And so, for this reason, the expansion of production is important. It is also true that the environment, working conditions, and mental health are important issues. We must therefore think carefully about the myriad elements of an individual's happiness and societal development. A seminar on business strategy. Students give presentations having researched hot companies. The professor's verdict? Very impressive. I believe Kobe University School of Business Administration is number one in Japan. Our long history afforded us the opportunity to acquire knowledge and refine teaching practices. Business administration studies began in America at the start of the 20th century, but similar classes were also underway at Kobe Higher Commercial School, the predecessor to today's department. Theory is important when learning business administration, but it's not the whole story. A curriculum which embraces both theory and practice is what's now demanded of an active and progressive business administration department. So classes and curriculum are founded on this principle. One such course is the top management course. This approach is one of the defining features of Kobe University School of Business Administration. Students often study together in small seminar groups over two years. The relationships formed during this time can continue for a lifetime. Small class sizes are becoming less common these days, but this kind of environment is important since it's one of the factors that can direct the course of a person's life. We want our students to become active members of the global community. We wish individuals who hold this ambition to come and study at Kobe University School of Business Administration. The Faculty of Science is comprised of five different departments. Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, and Planetology. We study the fundamentals of natural science in small size classes. From childhood, I was always fascinated by space and nature. I wanted to understand the mysteries of the universe and so entered this university. This is a meteorite formed at the time of the birth of the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. We examine meteorites like this using an electron microscope in an attempt to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Unrestricted by preconceptions, we are interested in the myriad puzzles and questions posed by the natural world. We wrestle to understand these mysteries with an inquiring mind and a determined spirit. This ethos pervades Kobe University's Faculty of Science. 
The faculty is a gathering of unique individuals. Going beyond equations and computations, I want them to understand the geometric meaning. Our research is about creating new shapes for practical applications. When we perform a computation, not an unexpected yet intelligent new shape emerges. It's really fun. Students shouldn't set their own limits, but continually challenge themselves. A determined spirit is really important, not only for research, but also to enjoy university life. Find a puzzle, become interested, and work to find the solution yourself. That's what we want students to do. Ultimately saving lives! A doctor's mission is to do everything possible to help patients and to help save patients' lives. To do this, students must achieve a high level of technical knowledge and expertise. At Kobe University Medical School, our aim is to nurture talented, imaginative individuals with lively, inquiring minds. What do diseases look like at the microscopic level? We now know that each disease looks different. The organization of this knowledge has become the field of diagnostic pathology. Although we don't meet patients face to face, in reality, pathologists almost always make the final diagnosis. The field of pathology is almost completely unknown. Only 1% of the general public has heard of it. However, it provides us with incredibly detailed information beyond even CT and MRI technology. We are able to provide practical training using whole slide imaging, which can be viewed simultaneously by teacher and student, and other cutting-edge technology. We also organize optional study groups for students who are interested in analyzing slide images in more depth. Using a communal microscope, I am able to focus students' attention on even more detailed areas. My goal is to help advance the field of diagnostic pathology. So, teaching in this way, even if I can inspire the interest of just one student, my efforts will have been worthwhile. So, diagnostic pathology identifies the disease and develops a strategy for treatment. Pathology plays its part in the team that is modern medicine. Healthcare today involves the cooperation of many healthcare professionals. Our nursing professors take pride in engaging with patients and in providing 24-hour support. Here's why. Of course, acute care and conditions requiring surgery are, as everyone knows, all part of medicine. But when it comes to chronic care, nursing specialists are the ones involved the most closely with patients' lives, including, for example, what is the most appropriate health-related guidance to provide to patients. And behind the scenes as well, they also play an additional important role by providing vital information to doctors. I think there are also other possible ways of helping, beyond just the standard practice of medicine. With that philosophy in mind, Health Sciences offers four majors that share a common focus on efforts to track down the origins and causes of illness, rather than just on illness as an end result. For example, nursing students engage in local field surveys, going to parks and residential areas to examine people's actual living conditions, starting with the socially disadvantaged. Physical therapy students carry out experiments on subjecting the body to various physical loads, starting with exercise, and going even further to carry out load testing on cartilage components. 
it's important for students to get to know the mechanisms for themselves. What kinds of mechanisms are operating in illnesses treated with physical therapy and the kinds of effects physical therapy has on the body. I think being able to learn through getting a real sense of these things by conducting their own experiments really sets us apart. Health sciences is still a new field of study, making a difference in the world and supporting not just patients, but also healthy people all over Japan. In the field of medicine, this is an area with promising new, untapped potential. And so we very much welcome talented young people to come join us. Engineering is Genesis. Engineering means making creative powers work at full steam. Engineering means pursuit without compromise. Engineering means changing the world. There are still areas where the world can advance. Technology is not the only driving force behind a better world. Ideas and passion are also necessary. In our laboratory, we carry out MEMS research. MEMS stands for Microelectromechanical Systems, also known in Japan as Micro Machines. For example, consider your smartphone. It contains an acceleration sensor, gyro sensor, and electronic compass. MEMS is the technology used to make these devices. We attract young people who are highly motivated to contribute to society through engineering. We want our students to cultivate design skills based on a fundamental knowledge of mechanical engineering. Engineering is about ideas, experience, and craftsmanship. It requires all-round ability, and that's the beauty of engineering. Pointing the way to the future. Engineering technology leads to the genesis of a prosperous world. If we combine the strength of the teachers and graduates in Kobe University's Faculty of Agriculture, the possibilities are infinite. The aims of Kobe University's Faculty of Agriculture are food security, preserving the natural environment, and promoting health through food in order to create a safe dining table. Agriculture is the laboratory of the life sciences. So the Faculty of Agriculture is a place where you can do fascinating research and study. Life science experimentation done directly on humans presents complicated issues and safety concerns. Therefore, in order to discover new phenomena, we look first at various biological systems, including DNA, cells, plants, and animals, and then apply the findings to human beings. The field of agriculture will undoubtedly continue to make significant discoveries for humankind. We especially want young people to get involved in agriculture. Agriculture is becoming more and more automated. Animals and plants are now able to coexist side by side with machines. It's truly marvelous. Touch Mother Earth and feel her bounty. Nurturing life and turning life into science. I'm motivated by the opportunity to do research that not only benefits agriculture, but also other fields such as medicine.
the sea covers 70% of the Earth. Japan's future largely lies in the sustainable exploitation of the sea. The sea has limitless hidden potential. We are working to create a bright future by realizing the potential of the sea. And we hope many young people who believe in what we do here will join us. Our teaching is not limited to the training of navigation officers. In the Faculty of Maritime Sciences, we are researching the design of next-generation high-performance shipping and deep submergence vessels. Other areas of our research include seabed exploration, oceanography, meteorology, and marine biology. Fluid mechanics has been used to predict the destructive potential of tsunamis and changes in weather patterns. It is also fundamental in the design of high-performance shipping and airplanes. To be sure, fluid mechanics is a challenging subject. However, through the application of its principles, it holds the key to unlocking exciting new technologies. Fluid is everywhere on Earth, isn't it? The Earth as a geosphere is surrounded by global currents in the hydrosphere and in the atmosphere. To study fluid mechanics is to learn about our dynamic planet. Study our planet's dynamism!